if y'all gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. Um, shit, I think we on part five. Part five of the ebook. Um, go to buy formation and go to back to single back and put a play in here called normal flex. And the first play we're gonna come on in is called HBDBL post posted support whatever I don't know what the fuck that is, <laughs> but you know the rest. I go to random play. So what you wanna do with this guy is put all the audibles in here. The first play is the play I came on HBDBL post. And your second play is gonna be HB Stretch. Your third play is gonna be Flanker Shake. And your last play is gonna be Power O. So, but this play, guys, it's the same play I showed you in the big, in the big single back, is uh, you wanna put your your right tight end on the slant to the left. And you wanna put McClester on the slant to the right. And you can either put Avery on the out route or uh, and smart route him. And it's the same identical type of, type of play. And you can pass lead down and both your tight end and wide receiver will be open. Now, what we're going to go over, guys, is all the niggas that's open in this play. So, uh, you can either, after your play action play, you can either dump it off to the tight end. He will always be open for a pass lead down. And the two, these are two first niggas that you want to look for is um, the tight end to the right and your left wide receiver to the left in the slot, which is Dexter McClester right here. So both of these guys will be open automatically if you pass lead down. Now, for your for your third guy will be open will automatically be um will be Bo or Avery. I think he I think that's Bo. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's Bo. So what you want to do with Bo is you want to pass lead to the right or pass lead up depending on how he's being guarded. So he's being guarded very well. So you don't want to go go to him right now. But you can probably go to him if you throw a tight bullet pass in there just to get a defense, a very horrible look on a defense. So, um, but the first two guys, you want to look for the tight end uh, and the wide receiver. So, for your fourth guy, he might be open, but they're being guarded very well. So, you want to look for him just like the level one, level two scheme and big on a single back. Now, with this, guys, is very simple, very simple to use, just like the big technique, very set up to use. And, you look for him open once you pass lead down. You know, he catches it. There's no way for them to guard. So, very good scheme to use for you guys. And there's no other way to set it up. Put, you know, Avery in the out route or whatever you want to do. Great way to show the defense a great look when he cuts. And, you know, great look. So, next play is HB Stretch. Basically, a free one play. If you see people boxed up in the box, or depending on whatever you see, you can pinch the line to basically free run play. Once you see the open look, it doesn't matter. Just run it and um, pinch the line or aggressive. And I'm probably aggressive on this defense. And just follow your blockers and basically you see the open play right there out of that stretch. So if you pinch your line or aggressive, it doesn't the best to aggressive setup for your line with three down linemen or four down linemen. So yeah, just follow your blockers and you'll get a nice run with Charles. So the next play in there is flanker strike. Is a really good sneak play, guys. Check this out. All right, um, all you wanna do is put Charles on a wheel and put Dexter McClester, your left slot receiver, a slant to the right. And that's all you gotta do, guys. Now check this out. The tight end will probably be open damn near every play. Um, the tight end or the wide receiver in the slot with Dexter McCluster. Now, I got sacked on purpose just to show you all the niggas that's open in this play. Now, your first nigga you're probably going to be looking for is Charles. That's always going to be a dump off guy to gain you five or ten yards or maybe more. So, but check this out, guys. The wide receiver slot will be open damn near every time. All you have to do is probably pass lead down and he'll get that pass every time, guys. Now, Check this out. Underneath him is the tight end. He's always open for this drag every play on any defense, man, or zone. And check this out, guys. You got your flanker that's always open as well. So if you throw it to him sooner, he'll catch it. If you throw it to him before, he'll catch it if you pass lead down. Very good offense, guys. Very good offense to use. 
very sneaky and um, to me I think it's one one of the most glitchiest fucking plays to be honest with you because I mean shit everybody's open this <laughs> You know, I mean, once you, if you trying to gain yards, it's a very good play to use. Very sneaky and, um, you know, a very good play to use. Because if you pay attention here, you see if you pass, McCluster will beat that man every time. If you uh, go here, Destin McCluster beats him. You see, he gets in front of him for that slant. You see how he just cuts them off there? He, be, he just cuts them off. Then automatically you have to drag wide open. <laughs> then automatically you probably have to out route wide open. Then don't forget, people, you always have a dump off the Charles to gain five or ten yards. So, one thing I like about that play, guys, is very sneaky to use. I recommend using that play first or, you know, mixing it in with the rest of the scheme. But the uh, main guy you want to look for is probably this flanker here. You see how Avery cuts them out there? That was a good, good cut by Avery. Um, you can leave him on that route or slant him if you want. Very good. Um, oh, I got sacked. Good defense. <laughs> uh, I'm about to show you one more time. Um, okay. And he should cut him, and right there, that's what you want, guys. He dropped it. <laughs> so, um, if you throw it to him sooner for that flanker drive, he would definitely be open if you got a good receiver or a bad receiver like a Calvin Johnson or a Bo or, you know, a low-ranked receiver with speed. So, see how he cuts inside and cuts around, throw it to him sooner. That definitely gain you probably a touchdown or a go around. And the best thing about it, you always have Avery beaten across the middle, so that would probably be your main guy you look for. Then definitely you got Charles to gain a good five yards, so you can outdo the running back, and you have to out route. So after that, we go into the last play called Power O. Power O is a good play here. You can come out the same thing with the stretch. Just look for the main guy with your blockers, you know. I got he gotta stop there. So um power O one more time. Uh pinch your line. Or probably a great I'll go with pinch. Pinch your line. And he should be open for the plays. And yeah. Just free run that play as much as you want. Great, great two check down runs. Out of them throwing formation just to show a different look. They are guarding the hell out of me. <laughs> but but guys, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I hope you like this part. I don't, I forgot what part I'm on, but <laughs> it's a long time. But <laughs> like, uh, uh, shit. Uh, fuck it. I guess roll the clip. Shit. <laughs>